Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for another true crime video yet again. And today we will be talking about the very mysterious Mayor Alice Leal Guo of Bamban, Tarlac, Philippines. Who is she and why is she under scrutiny right now? Let's find out. So let's talk about Mayor Alice Leal Guo. Now, I was actually pretty shocked and I did my research for quite some time because this was a very confusing case. Um, I didn't find out about this through the news. I found out about this when it suddenly blew up on TikTok. So if you see me looking here, that's because I have my notes here and this is a very delicate case and I don't want to get any of my information wrong. So let's begin. All right. So on May 7th, 2024, news blew up on social media that a certain mayor from the province of Tarlac here in the Philippines was linked to POGOS or Philippine Offshore Gaming Operator activities in the area. Now, basically, these are online casinos which are, in most cases, illegal. And while the allegations were enough to cause a national scandal and to stir up a lot of rumors, this case quickly escalated with even more damning accusations coming up and shedding a light into who this mayor really is. The now-suspended Mayor Alice Liel Guo was celebrated as the first ever female mayor of the town of Bamban in the province of Tarlac here in the Philippines. And she was actually elected two years ago on June 30th, 2022. Now, she claims to have been born on July 12th, 1986 to a Chinese father and a Filipina mother. This case came into the limelight and quickly gained virality online when clips of a Senate hearing headed by Senator Risa Honteveros. She is a powerhouse, you guys. Now, um, anyway, this case came into the limelight and quickly garnered virality online when clips of a Senate hearing headed by the fabulous Senator Risa Honteveros were uploaded on social media, specifically on TikTok. Now, initially, the Senate panel on women were investigating controversies surrounding POGO activities in Bamban, Tarlac. And upon investigation, they were quick to realize that Mayor Alice Liel Guo was linked to Zunyuan Technology Incorporated, a POGO that took over Hongsheng Gaming Technology Incorporated. Now, Hongsheng was raided in February 2023. But instead of being shut down, it was then replaced by Zunyu One in the same exact location. And probably the exact same management. Now, you might be wondering how Mayor Alice found herself in the center of this controversy. And this all began in March of 2024. Yes, just this year. When the now Zunyu One Pogo was once again raided for charges of alleged human trafficking and illegal detention. Mayor Alice Goh's alleged ties to these pogos were then exposed by Senator Wynne Gachalian, who claimed that a billing statement of Zunyu One and a vehicle that was seized during the raid were both registered under the controversial mayor's name. Now, it was also uncovered that Alice Go also filed a letter of no objection to the Municipal Council of Bamban for Hongsheng, allowing the Pogo to operate in the area. Now, upon being questioned, of course, she denied everything they all do. This is not a shock anymore. Now, she claimed that she had no ties with the Pogo operations and that she only filed the letter of no objection as she used to be an incorporator of Bao Fu the compound where the Pogo firms were located. Now, she claims to have sold the property right before she was elected as mayor and that the vehicle found in the compound that was registered to her had actually been sold back in 2020. And while all these allegations were scandalous enough, Mayor Alice was also grilled regarding her personal life 
during the same Senate hearing headed by Senator Risa Honteveros. Now, Senator Risa interrogated the mayor regarding her childhood, which revealed even more details that only led to even more questions. Now, according to Mayor Alice Guo, she never met her mother, whom she claimed used to work as a house help for her father's family, and that she was solely raised by her Chinese father, Jian Zhuong Guo or Angelito Guo, and that she grew up in a farm raising pigs. Upon being asked for her personal records like her passport, her birth certificate, and everything else, she claimed that she was homeschooled up until she reached high school and that she was taught by a single teacher, one teacher named Teacher Ruby Lin, and that she never really went to college. Now, all of this seems normal and these circumstances could happen to anyone. But the situation took a turn when Senator Risa Honteveros made it public knowledge that there was no hospital record of Mayor Alice's birth and that her birth certificate was only registered in 2005 when she was already 19 years old. Now, all of this led to the assumption that Mayor Alice Go may possibly be a Chinese asset who was trained and planted here to infiltrate the Philippine government. And if you are not aware of what is happening, but there has been an ongoing issue between China and the Philippines regarding Scarborough Shoal or the West Philippine Sea. Mayor Alice Go claims to have been born here in the Philippines on June 12, 1986 and had spent the last 18 years of her life in Bamban, the town that she is now serving. What's also interesting is that this was Mayor Alice's first ever candidacy and she actually won but before this no one knew of her and this is quite suspicious because it's no secret that the philippines is swarmed with political dynasties even current president ferdinand marcos jr or pbbm stated that no one among tarlac's local officials or politicians had ever heard of mayor alice guo before her 2022 election victory now, video clips of Mayor Alice surfaced and rapidly went viral. She was mocked for basically not recalling anything from her past. Now, upon being questioned, she would either say she doesn't remember or she would push the narrative that she grew up in a farm. Imagine being asked, Where is your birth certificate? I grew up in a farm. It does not make sense at all. Why? Was your birth certificate only registered when you were already 19? I don't know. I grew up in a farm. Like, what the actual hell is that? And of course, all of these unanswered questions led to a further investigation. If Mayor Alice Leal Guo actually has any legal right in holding a public position and a parallel probe against her was conducted, now, if proven guilty of having foreign roots and not actually being Filipino, Mayor Alice Go may face perjury charges and serve prison time before being sent back and deported to her country or anywhere else other than the Philippines. Now, when I first heard about this case, I thought, why isn't she allowed to be mayor? Because my great-grandfather, who was 100% pure Indian, and only arrived in the Philippines as a teenager, was elected as vice mayor of Ozamis City during former President Justado Macapagal's time. So what was the difference? Now, my great-grandfather underwent all the legalities to become a naturalized Filipino citizen, while Mayor Alice Go may have been planted by China and is illegally living and holding a seat in public office here in the Philippines after taking someone else's identity. Because yes, there is another Alice Liel Guo, and oddly enough, this Alice was also born in the same hospital on the exact same day as Bamban's female mayor was born in. Now, this was made public when a record of an NBI clearance for an Alice Liel Guo was discovered. 
And while this person bore the same name and birth date as Bamban's female mayor, the photo on this legal document showed a whole different person. And this revelation prompted speculations of identity theft. Due to this, the Philippine Statistics Authority, or the PSA, has moved to cancel Mayor Alice Leal Guo's birth certificate, completely stripping her off of her Filipino citizenship. Now, if it is proven that she is not who she says she is, she will most probably face deportation. And if found guilty of the other accusations linking her to the POGOs and the human trafficking allegations connected to those firms, she may also face jail time, which she will serve in the Philippines before she is thrown out or deported out of the country. Now, Senator Wynn Gachalian also discovered the Special Investors Resident Visa from the Board of Investments and Bureau of Immigrations of a Chinese national named Guo Hua Ping. And the passport of this person had a photo of a younger woman that looked eerily similar to Mayor Alice Leal Guo. Now, on her Philippine birth certificate as Alice Leal Guo, her birthday was stated to be on July 12, 1986, as I have mentioned earlier. However, on Guo Happing's passport, it was on August 31st, 1990. A fingerprint comparison and analysis later proved that Mayor Alice Leal Guo and Guo Happing were the same person. Which means that Mayor Alice Leal Guo of Bambantarlac was not a Filipino citizen and therefore cannot serve in public office. According to the issued visa, Guo Huaping entered the Philippines on January 12, 2003. And her mother, whom she claimed to be a Filipina house help that abandoned her, turns out to be Chinese as well. And she is named Wen Yi Lin. Therefore, Alice Guo does not have an ounce of Filipino blood in her. Now, as of filming this video, the Court of Appeals froze 90 bank accounts, a private helicopter, 12 land titles, and all of her other assets after a request was made by the Anti-Money Laundering Council. And yes, you heard that right. 90 bank accounts. 9-0. And the money from... All of these bank accounts are amounting to a total of 28 billion pesos. 28 billion pesos, you guys. Now, she has now been suspended from her position as mayor. And after failing to attend her Senate hearings, Senator Risa Honteveros approved the issuing of a warrant of arrest against Guo Haping, her Chinese parents, and her siblings. And... All of them are nowhere to be found at the moment because they are in hiding. I'm not even sure if they're still in the country or if they flew somewhere else. This is actually quite a controversial case because while there are a lot of speculations and accusations, Mayor Alice Lialgo also has a lot of supporters. She is so loved by the people of Bambantarlac. And people of neighboring towns are actually quite jealous because the mayor loves her people so much. And um, I'm not being biased because sh for me, everyone is innocent until proven guilty. I actually watched a few videos of Mayor Alice Guo before she got suspended, before this whole debacle happened. And it really seemed like she loved everyone in her town and it is said that she helped a lot of people in Bamban get jobs and she's just loved by so many there are actually so many Alice Guo defenders on TikTok and well everywhere online but the thing is they're actually romanticizing everything and it's just it's not right and that's pretty much all of the information that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys on my next video.